One month after the appointment of Keith Scotland as a minister in the Ministry of National Security, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley provided an update on the nation's security efforts during a press conference yesterday. Dr. Rowley emphasized that Mr. Scotland has been actively collaborating with the police to ensure timely government input and support in policing efforts. The details from Trevisa Phillips. The Prime Minister outlined the dual nature of crime, describing it as involving both the act of committing a crime, where accountability must be determined, and the intention to commit a crime, which he noted is particularly challenging to prevent. The crime that has been committed where you require to find out who is to be held accountable, and then the thought of an intention to commit crime, that's the hardest one. You don't know, in most instances, who is thinking about an execution of a crime. And we do have a violent society in which, unfortunately, a not insignificant number of our citizens are choosing crime as a business. To address the escalating crime situation, the government is employing a range of strategies. Dr. Rowley cautioned against oversimplifying the issue by attributing crime rates to political leadership. And don't let anybody fool you. That crime is not being done based on who is in office. It's done on the basis of whether there are benefits to be had by the perpetrators. And as fast as you stop or suppress one area, they surprise you with new ingenuity and heartlessness. The Prime Minister also referenced the recent Maruga double murder of Enrico Guerra and his five-year-old daughter Anika, which shocked the nation. For a fellow citizen, to have seen a child in somebody's hand or in somebody's prison and deliberately discharge a firearm knowing that you're going to kill that child, you are a different kind of devil. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we have those in this country. That's what we're dealing with. And don't give them any pass by trying to blame me. Dr. Rowley stressed that while his responsibility is to ensure law enforcement agencies are diligent in their duties, the public should not divert blame onto him for the actions of criminals. Because I have the responsibility to ensure that those whose job it is to identify and to chase down and to bring them to justice, that they are on the job. That's my, that's my work. That's my job. But the people who are doing those kinds, I mean, whose son is that? Whose brother is that? Whose cousin is that that will do something like that? Travisio Phillips, Tobago Updates Television News.